An integer overflow is an arithmetic error caused when an integer operation does not fit in the space allocated for it. Integer overflows are impossible to detect after they have already occurred and can result in further unexpected overflow or calculation bugs. In this video, we are going to explain the root cause of integer overflows, why they happen and how you can try to exploit them. But before we dive into the details, the purpose of this Capture the Flag fundamental series is to discuss and explain theory for a specific security topic. Once you understand the theory, you'll be able to approach and solve relevant Capture the Flag problems. One of the places where you can solve these problems is 247ctf.com. The 247ctf is a free Capture the Flag learning environment. The platform contains a number of self-contained hacking challenges where you can test and improve your skills across web, cryptography, networking, reverse engineering, and exploitation by solving technical problems to recover flags. At the end of this theory video, a specific 247ctf challenge will be referenced. This challenge will enable you to apply and test your practical knowledge and understanding of the topic. To understand integer overflows, we first need to understand how a computer stores and interprets data. What's the difference between 10, 0xA, slash N, and 1010? To a non-context aware computer, nothing. We're used to using the decimal representation of 10, but a computer doesn't deal in decimal. A computer deals in bits, and a bit can only store a single piece of information, either true or false. Our decimal interpretation 10 is simply a representation of the binary number 1010. How the binary number 1010 is viewed or understood is context dependent. If the stored value is represented as an integer type, it's a decimal 10. If the stored value is represented as a hexadecimal type, it's 0xA. If the stored value is represented as a character type, it's a new line. But what does this have to do with integer overflows? An integer overflow is an arithmetic error caused when an integer operation attempts to create a value outside the range of its given type. Different data types use different sizes for storage and can therefore only store specific value ranges. For example, an unsigned char type can store values between 0 and 255, while a signed char type can store values between minus 128 and 127. Why is it that we can no longer store up to 255 when a positive and negative sign is involved? Let's find out by using a relatively small 4-bit nibble. The largest value an unsigned nibble can store is 2 to the power of the number of bits minus 1. So in our case, the maximum value we can store in our unsigned nibble is 15, and the minimum value we can store is 0. But what happens if we want to store a negative number, such as minus 15, in the same 4-bit nibble space? What happens if we need to add 1 to 15 and store the result? How could these values be represented in our fixed nibble size? Any attempt to store a value greater than the maximum size for a given type results in an integer overflow. This can occur during arithmetic operations, but also if we try to cast or squash a value into space where it does not fit such as converting between signed and unsigned data types. If the computer doesn't know how the data stored in our nibble is to be interpreted, how could the computer differentiate between minus 5, stored as 1011 in binary, and 11, also stored as 1011 in binary? Computers solve this problem by storing negative numbers in a two's complement representation. Two's complement is a way of storing both positive and negative numbers in a fixed size. There are three generic cases for a two's complement representation. Zero, positive numbers, and negative numbers. Let's understand two's complement with our four-bit nibble. With this representation, positive numbers can be stored with a maximum size of two to the power of the number of bits minus one, minus one, which for our four-bit nibble results in a maximum size of seven. So we still represent positive five as zero, one, zero, one in binary. Negative numbers can be stored with a minimum size of minus two to the power of the number of bits minus one. Negative numbers follow a similar storage process, but the complement is first found by switching out the zeros and ones. So minus five would be complemented to one zero one zero. Then we add one to that complement. So in binary, one zero one zero plus one is one zero one one. Basically, the first bit is assigned the role of the sign bit. If the most significant bit is one, the number is negative. If the most significant bit is zero, the number is positive. This is why the size of the positive ranges is smaller when a signed value is used. 
we lose one bit to store that sign. The important takeaway here is that our 4-bit nibble can represent different numbers at the same time, depending on how the bits are interpreted. That is, depending on the type they are currently representing. So back to our question. What happens if we have an unsigned 4-bit nibble storing the value of 15 and then we add 1 to it? In decimal, we would simply have 16. But our nibble data type doesn't understand the concept of 16. Instead, the calculation is overflowed and instead of storing 16, we overflow the size and only store 0. And what happens if that same unsigned 4-bit nibble is cast or stored as a signed type? Now that decimal 15 is claiming to be a minus 1. For security, this undefined behaviour is bad and can result in unexpected or exploitable conditions. Let's use an example in the form of a simple challenge. Using a 4-bit unsigned nibble, can you create a number which at the same time is one more than itself? In a simple decimal system, this seems impossible. How can a single number be simultaneously two different values? But thanks to our size limitation, we can abuse the concept of integer overflows to find a solution for this problem. We need to choose a number that when stored in our limited nibble space will overflow after one more number is added to it. To set up the overflow, we will choose our number to be the largest possible value which fits in our unsigned nibble space, 15. When we add 1 to 15 and attempt to store that value in a nibble, the resulting number will overflow and instead of storing 16, 0 will be stored. We have just abused an integer overflow to solve our small challenge. When stored as an unsigned nibble, the number 15 is at the same time also greater than itself plus 1 because 15 is greater than 0. At the 247 CTF, you can practice this integer overflow theory yourself on a more common integer data type. The challenge, an impossible number in the miscellaneous category, will reward you with a flag if you can solve a similar integer overflow problem. If you have any thoughts on this topic or requests for future videos in this Capture the Flag fundamental series, be sure to let us know in the comments section below.